Now I'm going to show you one alternate scraping method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a CD case. Um, this method works pretty good for most molds, but keep in mind it's not always the perfect answer because sometimes these molds may hump in the middle just slightly or they may recess just slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a CD case. I'm just going to take the cover off of it, throw that away. Let's take the uh, insides out of it to where I've got the back cover. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up laying the back cover over top of this. So let's, uh, I just mix up this dental stone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and pour it into the mold uh, like we do. Let's go ahead and pour this in. And you can see the bubbles come to the top and such. Okay, and let's smack this on the table. Try to get that off of there. And I'm going to overfill the mold slightly. So we've got a, just a little plaster overflow in the whole thing. So it looks like we've got a few bubbles there. Yeah, see, I'm just going to blow over the mold and that'll pop some of those bubbles. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to lay this across the top of the mold. And this isn't like casting resin. This actually is pretty thick. So what you got to do is you lay this across the top and then you got to push it a little bit. And push it and wiggle it and push it and wiggle it. Just about like that. And that should be just about right. Now, the only way to get a really, to make it stay on there is to go ahead and set some sort of weight on top of it. Now a five pound weight would probably be the best, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set uh, like a bottle of glue on top of it. And I don't know that you can see, but there's a little bit of air bubbles right under there. So the trick is probably setting enough weight on it to really do you some good. So if you've got a couple cans of paint or something like that that you want to set on top of it, just set it on top of there and leave it. And don't even worry about setting a timer, don't even worry about scrape it, just set that on top of it and then go about and do something else. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes. Uh, I went ahead and stuck another bottle on here. Five pounds is probably okay. Ten pounds is probably a little bit better. I don't know what kind of weight you can get on top of this. But we'll go ahead and remove the plastic. And that looks like it turned out pretty clean. I could use that again. And here we'll go ahead and... Uh, it looks like there's a little more material on the surface. But the top of the blocks actually came out pretty flat. Pretty even. So we'll all go ahead and remove these. And there's a little more material on the surface, but you know, the more weight you put on it, probably the less material you'll have on the surface for that sort of thing. And go ahead and take the rest of these out. Okay. Now what you can do is for when you got stuff on the surface, uh, you see there's, oh, missed a block. Uh, you can see most of it really pretty much popped off the surface of the mold there. So what you got left over, you can just kind of smack and rub off the top of the mold. And uh, there you go. Uh, if you want to get the uh, stuff off of the book, you know, that we've got here, sometimes you can take like your, your knife and just sort of, uh, just very gently scrape over the top of the plastic. And most of that will will come loose. And anything that's left, you can just use your hand and wipe over it and, and clean that off. 